Before we get started here, don't forget to check out airsplat.com on youtube.com. Also, go check out Inside the Mech Box while you're there. A lot of really cool things. Hey guys, I'm Prodigy from Airsoft Team Kilo23. This is going to be a short series of videos showing you, the new Airsoft techs in the world, how to do certain things in gearboxes. So I'm just going to do this with spare parts. I'm probably not going to open up guns for this. So these are going to be spare parts, random parts, out of my parts collection. This video is showing you how to install the anti-reversal latch in your gearbox and close it up. Now, I know I've gotten a million questions about how do I get the AR latch back in. It keeps popping out, and the spring's got too much tension, and I can't get the bevel over it or anything, and it's just a pain, and how do I do this? I'm going to try to explain as best I can how to get the anti-reversal latch into the gearbox. Now, some have a lot of tension in this little spring here, and they keep popping out, and I have had this problem before, and there are ways around it. It's just um, there are a few tricks you got to try. A lot of it is patience, to be honest. So you got your anti-reversal latch here. I think this is a random JG one I have laying around, and you got the little spring on it. So go ahead and put it in the appropriate hole there. Obviously, you have to install your bevel gear. Let's go ahead and do that. And you want it to have as little tension as possible. So I'm going to take a little punch here. Push it so it all seats in, and turn your bevel until you hear a click. Once it clicks, it has the least amount of tension on the spring. Now this one stays in place relatively well. A lot of other ones are just going to pop out because your bevel gear has a lot of play or something. Usually when your bevel gear is shimmed lower, they're a little easier to install, thank god. This gear has no shims on it, so it's not popping out, which is pretty nice. If you have a KWA or something similar, a really well-machined gun, then your AR latch is probably not going to pop out, and you're lucky. Guns like, uh, I know a lot of VFCs, KWAs, uh, quite a few G&Gs, if you got like a fatter anti-reversal latch, one that's uh, more dense, or if you have a lighter tension spring, then it's not going to pop out as easily. Now, if your anti-reversal latch keeps popping out, what I recommend you do is get a small punch or something. This one's about four millimeters wide. Just put it on top of this. It's not going to hurt anything as long as you don't uh, you know, just smash something together. That'll be just enough weight to keep the AR latch down. Now you can hold it there, do whatever. I'm just going to leave mine. I'm going to put my gearbox shell on top of that. Now I've got my punch sitting here. You can use pretty much anything, a screwdriver or uh, just any kind of rod even, as long as it has some weight to it. You don't want it to be like a cleaning rod or something that weighs almost nothing. So I'm going to take a small flathead here and maneuver the anti-reverse latch into place. Now you can take your punch out and everything's peachy. Now this really does take patience sometimes, especially when you have uh, a spring with a lot of tension on it. So just take your time, don't get frustrated, just use these tricks and tips that I showed you. If you guys have any other questions regarding how to do something in a gearbox, aside from shim, because I already have a video on that, um, please put it in the comments and I'll try to get a video on that as soon as I can. Now make sure it's a basic thing, like how do I get the spring guide in, or um, how do I get the switch assembly in, and I'll show you how to do that. Just post it in the comments. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope this was helpful. I'm Prodigy from Airsoft Team Kilo23, signing off.